Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to this uh, beautiful uh, start of the new week. Uh, we are starting a week fresh, but I wanted to come here today and ask you, are you eating in secret? Are you going to your local supermarket shop? Is that Tesco, Waitrose, Sainsbury? Is it like, um, you know, a shop across the, across of the road? Do you buy food? You go into a treat aisle and maybe you get yourself three, four Kit Kats or, you know, a cake or a slice of cake and then you get crisps and all these kind of foods that you don't want anybody to know. And are you parking your car maybe? You know, at the end of the car park, when you know that people are not passing and uh, you're just eating in secret, opening all those, you know, boxes and you're just shoving it down your throat and you feel like, you know, you've lost it. Like, what are you doing? Um, and you feel really ashamed about it. And you might feel even fear that someone's going to find out. And in all that chaos, you just feel, you just don't know how to get out of there. So I just want to tell you a story about uh, one of my clients that I'm not going to name her. Uh, so she came to me a few months ago and that's what she was doing. She was going to Tesco shop. She was sitting in a car park, um, opening all the boxes, you know, like all the, all the packages and she ate the food and she didn't feel proud at all. She felt like sometimes she said to, said to me, she felt like a, she's like shoving all that food like that she was a, um, a bin and uh, and I, I could obviously completely relate to that and um, so what happened in a few months she she realized why she was doing it um, she's done because just simply she just felt she was out of control and basically what happened I helped her to see the reasons why she was doing it and and I helped her to, to make a choice. I helped her to make a conscious choice who she wants to carry on being. That she wanted to carry on doing and going to Tesco and eating all that food on her, you know, behind the wheel, uh, locked in the car where nobody can see her and feeling really bad about herself or she's going to make a conscious decision that she is going to start taking control over her life, taking control of how she felt every single day and also to think about who she wants to be. So to turn up for herself, to turn her health around, to start eating better food, to start feeling better, more empowered around her food choices. And literally within a few weeks, even a few weeks, she said to me, I stopped going to Tesco, uh, going down that aisle because I just felt I don't need it. I don't want it. So why would I keep doing it? So, and you know, and after three months of working with me, she felt confident that she can actually go and start making, you know, progress on her, you know, on her health, and, but she didn't need my support anymore. And what an amazing place to be. So, you know, just think like your life can spin around in a matter of weeks or a few months. It doesn't have to be such a long journey ahead of you. You just need to understand, you need to see why you're doing it. And also, if you don't change, what impact it has on your life. You know, what I always like to mention on all levels of your life. But the best thing is, is to actually look what impact it has on you, how you see yourself in that mirror. What do you think about yourself? Because while I was having a shower this morning, I was like, why do we all kind of care how other, what other people think about us? Because all those other people don't wake up, you know, in your head every morning. Those people don't wake up every morning in your body. So why would you care what someone else thinks when you don't feel good about yourself? You don't think well about yourself. So how all those people and their opinions can actually stop you and cripple you to actually take control over your life and how you feel and what you do. And, and I feel like the most empowering thing is really that you can make a choice in which direction you want to go. So if this has resonated with you and if you keep eating in secret and if that is destroying your soul, your health and your life, just message me. Let's just have a chat, like normal conversation and let's see where you feel stuck. Okay, 
And uh, anyway, I just want to tell you, this is you. There, there is a solution. You just don't know how to get out of that rut. Okay, I've been there. I've done it. And I can see it very clear why I've done it and why you're doing it. And how you can start creating such a better and exciting and full of energy and control the future that is literally ahead of you. So anyway, if this is you, just message me and let's just have a normal conversation. Anyway, sending you all lots of love. Have a great week ahead of you and um, I'm looking forward to hear from you. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.